Are you trying to get prepared for the coming lockdowns? Are you already in the process of getting prepared and looking for a few more ideas? Well, this video is for you. Recently, I posted a video that I'll show you a picture of here and a link down below about getting prepared for what I think are the imminent lockdowns. And in that video, I had 20 categories of things that you might want to consider in your preparations for those lockdowns. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. This video is about a shopping trip that I took in regard to that video, in which I went out for our own preparations here in our home, trying to do some lockdown shopping based upon those 20 categories. So I hope you can get some use from this video, get some ideas. I'll show you the items just momentarily. I wanted to remind you that from our viewpoint here, prepping for the coming lockdowns, we have separated that out somewhat from our long-term SHTF prepping for this reason. I personally don't think that the lockdowns that are coming, if they come, I don't think that's the big SHTF event that the world of preparedness is getting prepared for. I don't think it's that type of an event but it is certainly worthy of your attention and getting prepared for it. In the event you find yourself isolated or locked down, you can't go get things that you need or you can't readily and easily do such. And in the event that the lockdowns don't happen, then the preparations you're making for the lockdowns will just add more to your overall preps. As I said, I don't think this, the lockdowns are the SHTF event. I wouldn't argue with anyone who said it's a part of a long-term event that we're already in the midst of. That's certainly a possibility. Of course, shopping, getting things or stuff for the lockdowns is just one part of getting prepared for the coming lockdowns. All right, so let's go inside where I got the items and I will see you in a couple minutes. Here we are inside and I'm gonna go down the items that I got on this trip from the list that was in the previous video. And this is the food items. I used the calculator, got the total number of calories for what you see. And I came out to 16,702 calories. That's by going by all the labels. So a question. Item one from the previous video was a one to three month supply of food. So with 16,000 calories, and a little more. Did we get one month, two months, three months, or what did we get? For those of you who are trying to figure out how many calories it takes for a one month supply of food or two or three months supply of food, we do have a video right here coming up right here with the link in the description again that will help you figure out how many calories you might need for a one month supply of food. You also might notice that Everything here would be a quick, easy meal to fix or, you, or an item to use in a meal. If you have an interest in quick, easy meals for SHTF or just emergencies in general, you guessed it, we have a video about such things, which I will put right here. Category or area two, first aid. Like you, we already have some first aid supplies on hand. This is just adding to those supplies. Category three, your pets. On this particular trip, I got a 22 pound bag of cat food. We also have dogs. I did not get dog food this time, but we will still have to do so. Category four, gas or fuel. On this trip, I didn't get any gas in these jugs. We do have several five gallon jugs and I decided I would make a one stop trip to get two or three extra gallons, two or three extra jugs of gas. That will be done in a couple of days. Category number five was safe indoor cooking options. Now here you've seen from some of our videos that we already have for the most part our cooking options or methods in place. Of course one of those is a sterno stove. We still need fuel for cooking on or with the sterno stove. And so I picked up five cans of sterno fuel. 
you may have seen a previous video in which I compared these two fuels along with uh, Stern Oil brand fuel to determine the best use of your money. If you're interested in that, if Stern Oil cooking is one of your indoor cooking options or you're thinking about it, then check, check this video out. You will find it very helpful in that event. Category six, outdoor cooking options. Now on this particular shopping trip, what I actually got was another canister of, small canister of propane, and also picked up a bag of charcoal. The charcoal can be used with the Dutch oven. This is a brand new Dutch oven. I haven't actually used it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. And I'll be using it in several videos for outdoor grid down SHTF cooking. So be certain that you don't miss any of those videos because we're going to have some really good recipes and meals. You won't want to miss them. So be sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and while you're doing those things, if you can, hit the thumbs up button for this video. Also, I picked up a few days ago, not on this last trip, but a few days ago, you can see it's 15 bucks, a little tabletop charcoal grill, of which I can use and will be using on our tabletop campfire table. Category seven, meds, medications. I didn't get a lot in this particular trip, but you can see what I did get. Oral analgesic, toothaches, athlete's foot cream, baby aspirin. Category eight, communications or emergency communications. Now I didn't get the walkie talkies on this trip. We already had those. We have some arrangements with some nearby folks. What I got was these. That's just enough batteries to uh, power one of these things for a little while. Category nine, sanitizers, hand sanitizer. Remember the last time this disappeared pretty quickly? So did these, uh, Clorox wipes. Category 10, household cleaners. This one I included with sanitizers, but it can also, as you well know, can be used to clean many surfaces, many things. Bleach, 1,001 uses, maybe 1,002 even uses for bleach. Category 11 hygiene or personal hygiene. Men's deodorant, women's deodorant, shampoo or two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, 32 ounces, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar. Category 12, entertainment. For us here, we pretty much got the entertainment thing taken care of, but I did get some dry erase markers so that the children and the adults can, we have a, uh, a whiteboard this thing, which is we use, or primarily my wife uses in homeschooling, but the children also use that sometimes for art, have fun, so we've got a few more extra markers for it. Category 13, toilet paper and paper towels. Yes, I did get a package of uh, toilet paper. I didn't get paper towels on this particular trip. You know how fast that's going to run out. Get it while you can. Category 14, laundry. This is the kind of laundry detergent that we use, so I picked up another jug of it. Category 15, dishwashing. If you have to do it by hand or choose to do it by hand, if you want to keep the automatic dishwasher going. The grid goes down, we got this, it stays up, we got this and this. Category 16, Garbage bags and garbage disposal. If your garbage pickup doesn't keep going, you will still be much happier putting your garbage in garbage bags rather than just in a pile or a pile somewhere. Item 17, using the bathroom. In the last video, we talked about the five gallon bucket. Now, I didn't get this one on the trip, on the shopping trip. We have several extra buckets around here. If you don't, you can pick up a bucket for, I don't know, roughly around three bucks, give or take a few cents. They're not expensive, might come in very handy. And I'm not an expert in five gallon bucket bathrooming, but the idea would be to have a garbage bag in it. I looked on the shopping trip for a commode seat 
which are, I thought, readily available, but I couldn't find one. Maybe everybody's got this idea, and that's why there aren't any. In any event, you can probably still get on Amazon and maybe some of the other big places, Walmart or whatever, pick up one. The garbage bags, again, I got those on the trip. They are for garbage disposal, but also for this, in the event that you have to use it. Still need that. And if you get to the point where you find yourself needing to use the bucket and the garbage bags, a good idea to have kitty litter. I'm not going to go into the details, but I'm sure you can figure that out. Item 18. Bathing. In the event the grid goes down for a while and or your water gets shut off, water uh, public water isn't available for a period of time, you can use something. Now I didn't get any of this on the shopping trip. We already had this here. That's a uh, two or two and a half gallon kettle. That is a butane stove and you can heat or boil your water in that. The butane stove is also one of the safe indoor emergency cooking options. Any number of reasons you might need or want to have hot water, this is a, a good option. Those stoves are not expensive. The kettles are not expensive. The fuel can be a little bit expensive, but in my thinking, well worth it for the emergency situations. Item 19, safe drinking water. That one I picked up on the shopping trip that we're discussing. That one was already here. You also might consider that is a big Berkey, or some type of a Berkey. That's kombucha, by the way. You also might consider any number of other non-electric water filters. Item 20, making sure that you have some way to go shopping or someone to do some shopping for you in the event various things are required. I didn't get these on this particular shopping trip. More than likely, you're going to need some of those to be able to go quickly do shopping without any issues. But I would highly suggest you get some. Well, there you have it. A Prepper's Lockdown Shopping Trip. I know there are a lot of things still to get. Until I see you the next time, Shalom, peace to you and yours, and keep on prepping.